Ctesiphon. Ctesiphon was an ancient city, located on the eastern bank of the Tigris, and about southeast off present-day Baghdad. Ctesiphon served as a royal capital of the Persian Empire in the Parthian and Sasanian eras for over 800 years. Ctesiphon remained the capital of the Sasanian Empire until the Muslim conquest of Persia in 651 AD. Ctesiphon developed into a rich commercial metropolis, merging with the surrounding cities along both shores of the river, including the Hellenistic city of Seleucia. Ctesiphon and its environs were therefore sometimes referred to as the cities. In the late 6th and early 7th century, it was one of the largest cities in the world. During the Roman Parthian Wars, Ctesiphon fell three times to the Romans, and later fell twice during Sasanian rule. It was also the site of the Battle of Ctesiphon in 363 AD. After the Muslim invasion, the city fell into decay and was depopulated by the end of the 8th century, its place as a political and economic center taken by the Abbasid capital at Baghdad. The most conspicuous structure remaining today is the Taq Kasra sometimes called the Archway of Ctesiphon. The Latin name derives from ancient Greek languages. The new Persian form is Tisphon. Texts from the Assyrian Church of the East Synods referred to the city as when referring to the metropolis of Seleucia Ctesiphon. In modern Arabic, the name is usually Tesafion or as Almadain. According to Yaqut, quoting Hamsa, the original form was Tusfun or Tusfun, which was Arabicized as Tesafion. The Armenian name of the city was Tisban. Tesafon is located approximately at Almadain, southeast of the modern city of Baghdad, Iraq, along the river Tigris. Tesafon measured 30 square kilometers, more than twice the surface of 13.7 square kilometer 4th century imperial Rome. The archway of Khosros was once a part of the royal palace in Tesafon and is estimated to date between the 3rd and 6th centuries AD. It is located in what is now the Iraqi town of Salman Pak. Ctesiphon was founded in the late 120s BC. It was built on the site of a military camp established across from Seleucia by Mithridates I of Parthia. The reign of Patars as I saw Ctesiphon reach a peak as a political and commercial center. The city became the empire's capital circa 58 BC during the reign of Oroz II. Gradually, the city merged with the old Hellenistic capital of Seleucia and other nearby settlements to form a cosmopolitan metropolis. The reason for this westward relocation of the capital could have been in part due to the proximity of the previous capitals to the Scythian incursions. Strabo abundantly describes the foundation of Ctesiphon. In ancient times Babylon was the metropolis of Assyria, but now Seleucia is the metropolis, I mean the Seleucia on the Tigris, as it is called. Nearby is situated a village called Ctesiphon a large village. This village the kings of the Parthians were wont to make their winter residence, thus sparing the Seleucians, in order that the Seleucians might not be oppressed by having the Scythian folk or soldiery quartered amongst them. Because of the Parthian power, therefore, Ctesiphon is a city rather than a village, its size is such that it lodges a great number of people, and it has been equipped with buildings by the Parthians themselves, and it has been provided by the Parthians with wares for sale and with the arts that are pleasing to the Parthians for the Parthian kings are accustomed to spend the winter there because of the salubrity of the air, but they summer at Ikbatanand in Hyrcania because of the prevalence of their ancient renown. Because of its importance, Ctesiphon was a major military objective for the leaders of the Roman Empire in their eastern wars. The city was captured by Rome five times in its history, three times in the second century alone. The emperor Trajan captured Ctesiphon in 116, but his successor, Hadrian, decided to willingly return Ctesiphon in 117 as part of a peace settlement. The Roman general Avidius Cassius captured Ctesiphon in 164 during another Parthian war, but abandoned it when peace was concluded. In 197, the emperor Septimius Severus sacked Ctesiphon and carried off thousands of its inhabitants, whom he sold into slavery. By 226, Ctesiphon was in the hands of the Sasanian Empire who also made it their capital and had laid an end to the Parthian dynasty of Iran. Ctesiphon was greatly enlarged and flourished during their rule, thus turning into a metropolis, which was known by in Arabic as Almadain, and in Aramaic as Mahoz. The oldest inhabited places of Ctesiphon were on its eastern side, which in Arabic sources is called the Old City, where the residence of the Sasanians, known as the White Palace, was located. The southern side of Ctesiphon was known as Aspanbar, which was known by its prominent halls, riches, games, stables, and baths. The western side was known as Bayar Dashr, known as Mahosa by the Jews, Koch by the Christians, and Birasir by the Arabs. 
Veyardashra was populated by many wealthy Jews, and was the seat of the Church of the Nestorian Patriarch. To the south of Veyardashra was Velashabad. Tesaphon had several other districts which were named Hanbushapur, Darzanadan, Vajandayu Khosrau, Nunabad, and Kardakad. Severus Alexander advanced towards Tesaphon in 233, but as corroborated by Herodian, his armies suffered a humiliating defeat against Ardashri. In 283, Emperor Carus sacked the city uncontested during a period of civil upheaval. In 295, Emperor Galerius was defeated outside the city. However, he returned a year later with a vengeance and won a victory which ended in the fifth and final capture of the city by the Romans in 299. He returned it to the Persian king Narses in exchange for Armenia and western Mesopotamia. In circa 325 and again in 410, the city, or the Greek colony direct lie across the river, was the site of church councils for the Church of the East. After the conquest of Antioch in 541, Khosrawi built a new city near Tesaphon for the inhabitants he captured. He called this new city Way Antioch Khosrau, or literally, better than Antioch Khosrau built this. Local inhabitants of the area called the new city Romagan, meaning town of the Romans and Arabs called the city al Rumiya. Along with Way Antioch, Khosrau built a number of fortified cities. Khosrau had deported 292,000 citizens, slaves, and conquered people to the new city of Tesaphon in 542. In 590, a member of the House of Myron, Baram Chaban repelled the newly ascended Sassanian ruler Khosrau II from Iraq, and conquered the region. One year later, Khosrau II, with aid from the Byzantine Empire, reconquered his domains. During his reign, some of the great fame of Almadain decreased, due to the popularity of Khosrau's new winter residence, Dastagerd. In 627, the Byzantine Emperor Heraclius surrounded the city, the capital of the Sassanid Empire, leaving it after the Persians accepted his peace terms. In 628, a deadly plague hit Tesaphon, Almadain and the rest of the western part of the Sasanian Empire, which even killed Khosrau's son and successor, Kavad II. In 629, Tesaphon was briefly under the control of Myronid usurper Sharpras, but the latter was shortly assassinated by the supporters of Khosrau II's daughter Borandukht. Tesaphon then continued to be involved in constant fighting between two factions of the Sasanian Empire, the Palav faction under Thaus of Ispahudan and the Parsig faction under Peruz Khosrau. In 636, the Muslim Arabs, who had since 633 invaded the territories of the Sasanian Empire, defeated them during a great battle known as the Battle of al Qadiziyah. The Arabs then attacked Tesaphon, and occupied it in early 637. The Muslim military officer Sid ibn Abi Wakrakas quickly seized Velashabad and made a peace treaty with the inhabitants of Way Antioch Khosrau and Vayardashar. The terms of the treaty were that the inhabitants of Way Antioch Khosrau were allowed to leave if they wanted to, but if they did not, they were forced to acknowledge Muslim authority, and also pay tribute. Later on, when the Muslims arrived at Tesaphon, it was completely desolated, due to flight of the Sasanian royal family, nobles, and troops. However, the Muslims had managed to take some of troops captive, and many riches were seized from the Sasanian treasury and were given to the Muslim troops. Furthermore, the throne hall in Takkasra was briefly used as a mosque. Still, as political and economic fortune had passed elsewhere, the city went into a rapid decline, especially after the founding of the Abbasid capital at Baghdad in the 8th century, and soon became a ghost town. Caliph al Mansur took much of the required material for the construction of Baghdad from the ruins of Tesaphon. He also attempted to demolish the palace and reuse its bricks for his own palace, but he desisted only when the undertaking proved too vast. It is believed to be the basis for the city of Ispanir in 1001 nights. The ruins of Tesaphon were the site of a major battle of World War I in November 1915. The Ottoman Empire defeated troops of Britain attempting to capture Baghdad, and drove them back some before trapping the British force and compelling it to surrender. Under Sasanian rule, the population of Tesaphon was heavily mixed, it included Arameans, Persians, Greeks, and Assyrians. Several religions were also practiced in the metropolis, which included Christianity, Judaism, and Zoroastrianism. In 497, the first Nestorian patriarch Marbabai, fixed his see at Seleucia Tesaphon, supervising their mission east, with the Merv metropolis as pivot. The population also included Manichaeans, a dualist church, 
who continued to be mentioned in Tesaphon during Umaway rule fixing their patriarchate of Babylon there. Much of the population fled from Tesaphon after the Arab capture of the metropolis. However, a portion of Persians remained there, and some important figures of these people are known to have provided Ali with presents, which he, however, refused to take. After the Battle of Sifan, the Persian population of Ktisiphon disappeared. In the 9th century, the surviving Manichaeans fled and displaced their patriarchate up the Silk Road, in Samarkand. A German Oriental society led by Oscar Ruther excavated at Tesaphon in 1928-29 mainly at Kaiserbind al Qadi on the western part of the site. In winter of 1931-1932 a joint expedition of the German State Museums and the Metropolitan Museum of Art continued excavations at the site, focusing on the areas of Mari, Tel Deheb, the Takai Kisra. Selman Pak and Amizi Zatter under the direction of Ernst Kunal. In the late 1960s and early 1970s, an Italian team from the University of Turin directed by Antonio Invernizzi and worked at the site, which they identified Notas Desafon but as VR Dasher. Work mainly concentrated on restoration at the Palace of Khosrau II. In 2013, the Iraqi government contracted to restore Thak Kasra as a tourist attraction. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.